finding a linear equation with one point and a slope. The purpose of this lesson is to show you how you can determine the slope of a line if you have just one point and the slope. With the graphing calculator, using two points to find the equation of a line is very easy. We can use the same technique with one point and a slope. And this lesson teaches a strategy and demonstrates the technique of taking one point and using the slope to help determine a second point so you can then use two points to use linear regression feature of your graphing calculator and obtain the equation of a line. So the tools you'll need are first a graphing calculator, secondly you'll need a writing implement such as a pencil, and finally you're going to need something to write on, preferably a piece of paper. So let's look at problem number one. Write the equation of a line that has a slope of 3 quarters and a y-intercept of negative 3. The first thing we need to do is make a table. The next thing we need to do is put the point we are given in that table. And here, we hit, since we have a y-intercept of negative 3, that's going to be an x value of 0, a y value of negative 3. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is find the second point. We need to draw arrows on each side of the table. And we put the number 1 on the end of the left arrow. Now, we need to put the slope of the line at the tip of the right arrow. In this case, it's 3 quarters or 0.75. Then we need to find the next input value for x by adding the 1 at the end of the arrow to the first input value. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And now we need to add the next output value by adding the slope at the end of the arrow to the first output value. So we have negative 3 plus 0.75 and that's going to be negative 2.25. So we put that in our next space. And now we have two points we can transfer to our graphing calculator and run a linear regression. So we go to stat edit and place the x values of 0 and 1 under L1, y values of negative 3 and negative 2.25 under L2 as we've done here. And then we press stat calc 4 and we get a slope of 0.75 3 quarters and it our y-intercept is negative 3. Therefore, the equation of the line is y equals 0.75x, or 3 quarters x, minus 3. And that's our final answer. Now, even though that wasn't too bad, there is an easier way, and that is using the intercept, the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. And so we take the slope of 3 quarters, then we take the y-intercept, we know that's negative 3, then we use the formula. So we just place, replace the m, the slope 3 quarters for the m, and it places here, and then we put the negative 3 in the place of the b. And so by this method we get y equals 0.75x minus 3, the same we got earlier. So let's look at problem number 2. Let's write an equation for the line that has a slope of negative 5 and pass through the point negative 3 comma 6. The first thing we need to do, again like the last one, was make a table. And so the first point we enter, negative 3 comma 6, and we draw arrows on both sides of the table just like we did before. And then we enter what on the left side? We place 1 there. And what do we put at the end of the right arrow? We put the slope, in this case, of negative 5. And now we calculate the x value for the second point by adding 1 to the first x value. So negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 2. So we place it there. And then on the right side, we have 6. We add negative 5 to 6 and we get 1. And so now we have two points we can use to run our linear regression. We go to stat edit again, put the x coordinates under L1, y coordinates under L2, and press stat calc 4, enter twice. We have the slope, of the equation A, that's negative 5 our slope, and our y-intercept is 
negative 9. And so therefore our equation is y equals negative 5x minus 9. And for extra measure we can graph that in our calculator and look at it and we can see that it goes through these two points. And now we can test our rise and run by counting and be sure of our slope as well. So using one point and a slope to find the equation line can be pretty easy and fun. If you make a table, put the point in the table and use the slope to find your second point. Then use your calculator to find the equation with the linear regression. So here's a list. First, make a table. Second, put one point in the table. Third, draw arrows on each side. Fourth, put one on the end of the left arrow. Five, put the slope at the end of the other arrow on the right. Six, add the arrow values to each coordinate x-coordinate on the left, y-coordinate on the right, to get that second point. And finally, run the linear regression using the points. We hope this video has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you again.